This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Nova. Nova is the newest champion that will be entering the contest. And we're going to take a very quick look right now. And then we're going to go into detail. Uh, I'm going to go over what the developers have given us on this champion. All right. So you can see the champion tags here. All right. And let's switch over here. You can see the block proficiency. It's not bad. All right. And let's take a look at his synergies. Now that synergy right there, heavy attacks have a 50% chance to refresh Nova Surge buffs. Uh, this second one here looks very interesting. Uh, gain 40% perfect block chance when triggering auto block. That actually looks very interesting. Okay, maximum output. He'll gain one Nova charge. We'll talk about Nova charges later. Uh, each time Nova receives energy damage. And that looks interesting depending on who you're fighting. And uh, here we go, Phalanx uh, Feud. Increase the potency of Fury buffs by 15%. That looks very interesting indeed. Uh, he gets a permanent Fury, but we'll talk about that later. And full speed ahead, starting a dash attack immediately after dashing back, generates five additional Nova charges. So think about the Backdraft Intercept. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, that's exactly what that is where you're attacking and you dash and then um, dash back and then dash forward very quickly to do an intercept. All right. All right. Let's take a look very quickly. We're not going to go into it at this point, uh, but right after this, we will go over the dev notes. All right. So just take a look. We will go into more detail. All right. Uh, doing it a little bit differently than I normally do. Normally I'll go into it right here, but uh, since we do have the dev notes, may as well go ahead and show you guys that and uh, uh, go through it that way. This is all the information that we were given on Nova. So we're going to go over this together. All right. You can see his base stats and abilities here. And let's just keep going down here. So we've got his basic abilities, Fury, Auto Block, Nova Force, Unblockable, Energize. Here are the strengths of Nova. His medium dash attack, power gain, energize, defensive capabilities or abilities, uh, long buff duration. You can read up on each of these, uh, but he does seem more of a defensive champion. And you can see like in the defensive abilities, they say things like very tricky to deal with uh, as a defender. Uh, and then you look down here at the long buff duration and it's talking again about his uh, viability in Alliance War as a defender. So that gives me the idea that the devs see Nova more as a defender than an offensive champion. All right, so here are his weaknesses. Uh, if he goes up against folks that can nullify, like Symbiote Supreme, Mephisto, Dr. Voodoo, uh, he's going to be at a disadvantage and you can see here uh, his permanent buff, which is going to be an active buff and nullifiable uh, when it's nullified, he's going to lose connection with the Nova force and he can no longer activate his auto block. And of course with Dr. Voodoo, he's going to be uh, taking some poison damage because he's not poison immune or bleed immune or anything like that. Uh, true accuracy champions. Uh, his auto block is a major threat. Uh, so any champion that can bypass his auto block, you know, via true accuracy has a considerable advantage. All right. And power manipulation like magic and Gwenpool. Uh, Nova's main offensive threats also come from his special attacks. Uh, champions that are able to burn, drain, lock or steal his power uh, will keep him from activating his most potent abilities. I'm looking there at Gwenpool and I'm wondering, uh, I guess I don't know enough about Gwenpool. All right. 
Uh, and here we go, limited space. Uh, and you're going to see this actually uh, when I'm trying to generate Nova charges uh, against Winter Soldier. But yeah, I can see where limited space would be a problem. Okay. Now, here's passives. When successfully strike an opponent, Nova has minus 30% offensive power rate. When dashing forward, Nova passively gains up to 20% of a bar of power based on the distance traveled. So what that means is you want to be dashing. That's what you want to be. Dash as much as possible and as far away as possible. All right. So his, um, where he's going to get a lot of his power is going to be from dashing, not hitting your opponent like you would do traditionally. Uh, his medium attacks do not make contact and deal energy damage. So there's a little bit of utility there. Uh, if you can hit them with only your medium attacks, you can uh, deal with people like Electro or uh, Korg. So, you know, not the best options for those, but possible, you know. Uh, he starts the fight with a permanent Fury buff, all right, and it increases his attack rating by 803. Uh, if it's nullified, removed, or prevented, it goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. So every 12 seconds after he's nullified, he's going to get it back. Now, you can understand why someone like Dr. Voodoo would love that. Uh, so would pretty much any of them uh, that you saw mentioned earlier, uh, Symbiote Supreme, uh, because that means every 12 seconds you're getting some good stuff. Symbiote Supreme will be getting uh, power, but he will also be doing damage to him every 12 seconds, every time he gets that, uh, if he can stagger it. So very, very nice. Uh, Clairvoyant, she's also going to be a really good option. All right, so let's see. When Nova is struck with True Strike, Unblockable, or Guaranteed Criticals, opponents have a minus 70 percent uh, attack rating so look at the dev notes nova's passive strengths make him a very resilient defender champions such as corvus glaive and ghost notice how they call them out does that give you an idea of where their heads are at uh, we'll have a hard time breaking through nova on defense Players who try to stun Nova using the parry mastery will have to find another way to attack Nova. Nova's power gain while dashing is also an ability players will want to utilize on offense. All right. Uh, World Mind Intervention. When he has a Fury buff active, being struck when dashing uh, forward activates auto block. We're going to see that in the fight to follow. Um, allowing Nova to automatically block incoming basic attacks. Triggering this ability removes all Fury buffs and consumes 25 Nova charges. Now, you'll notice that there's nothing in there that was said about parry. Okay, it says auto block. Uh, we're going to see when we talk about his signature ability why that is. All right, now, the dev note, this auto block gives Nova some extra protection and safety when going on offense. Players will find that while he is able to move around the arena with relative ease, they can still pay the price if they are too reckless with this ability. Yeah, you're going to see that too. All right. Uh, Max Nova charges, 100. Starts the fight with zero. And he gains more when dashing. Okay. Um, and you see here, uh, now, if he's struck with True Strike, Unblockable, or Guaranteed, not only are they reduced in attack but he's going to gain 50 nova charges so you really don't want to deal with that all right so attacking him with true strike unblockable attacks or guaranteed crits aka corvus ghost not desirable doable but it's not worth it all right when one of his buffs is nullified removes 25 charges and prevent nova charges from being generated for five for six seconds so you want to nullify. Uh, the main resource that powers Nova's abilities is generated by dashing. A full screen medium dash attack will grant roughly 10 Nova charges, while a half screen dash attack grants five. So the further the distance out, the better. All right. 
and we're looking here at Nova Force here. You can take a look. Uh, medium attacks deal 30% of the damage done uh, as a burst of energy. And here are, it, it reminds me a little bit of Aegon, uh, where he's ramping up, but he ramps up very quickly if you're dashing, okay? So at 25 plus, uh, his second medium attack deals an additional 20% damage done as burst energy damage. Uh, activating that consumes 25. Uh, at 50 plus, auto blocks can be triggered while stunned. Activating this ability purifies stun debuffs. That's pretty nice. And at 75 plus, he gains a fury increasing attack rating. All right, for seven seconds and refreshes his active fury buffs while below maximum stacks, max of four stacks. So uh, we've been talking about this and it doesn't seem currently possible to get four stacks. Two stacks, yes, but four seems to be a little bit uh, out of our reach. Uh, when reaching 100 Nova charges, gain an unblockable buff for 2.5 seconds. You're going to see how I played with that one. Uh, this ability consumes 100 Nova charges when the buff expires, is nullified, or prevented, and prevents Nova charges from being generated for 6 seconds. So, basically, if you're fighting him and he gets 100 charges, he's going to go unblockable. But if you can, like, say with Dr. Voodoo, you have a special one ready, and he's gone unblockable. He attacks, intercept with the special. That'll nullify it, and you're good. That's why they said that nullify champions uh, are one of his weaknesses. All right, against tech champions, consuming Nova Charges inflicts an armor break. Didn't they already mention Ghost? They don't have to mention Ghost here, right? Because that counters ghost she's not going to be able to phase okay this is just uh countering ghost uh especially and corvus uh let's see uh debuff yeah they get an armor debuff reducing armor by 500 for 24 seconds sure it can only stack once but it's 24 seconds that is an eternity in a fight all right, uh, dev note, players need to note that Nova unlocks his abilities every 25 Nova charges. We already went over each of them. Uh, to get the most damage out of the Nova force, knowing when to consume Nova charges with medium attacks, then hovering between 70 and 90 Nova charges will grant Nova the biggest benefit. All right, so you're not going to see me trying to do all of that in the fight. I'm more just playing around with him getting a feel for his animations and uh, gameplay. But you have here what you need to do to get the most out of Nova. All right, so you can see what no, uh, rotation you're probably going to want to deal with. You know, hovering between the 70 and 95 is going to give you um, that extra fury. And then as long as you consume the charges, and we've already gone through the different things that will consume those charges, you won't push him to 100 where he goes unblockable, so you'll just maintain the greater damage. All right, and then here we're not going to go over each of the special attacks, uh, but you can look at them here. You can see the dev note uh, opting for this ability while playing Nova gives him considerable utility depending on this special, uh, when this special attack is used. Likewise, if players fight Nova, this special attack is worth trying to bait out. All right. And there we go. Another dev note. Special two is Nova's main source of energy damage. Absolutely. Uh, that's the big boy damage. This can be used to spend Nova charges for big damage or to generate even more charges for the future. Okay. So you see it consumes uh, charges. And remember what we just said, that the best way to get the damage out of him is to hover between that 70 and 95. So firing off special twos frequently can do that, all right? And now we get to the signature ability. Why they put it down here, I'm not sure. Um, but his signature ability, as you can see here, uh, increases the buff's duration, 
Uh, and at 75 plus, that auto block will trigger the parry mastery. See, without the signature ability, it's not going to trigger parry and, and do the stun. All right. Um, but it cannot affect um, or cannot interrupt special attacks. And as you can see, his medium attacks gain up to uh, 2,870 bonus attack rating based on the damage, I mean, the distance traveled in the last executed dash. Okay, so that's his signature ability. Uh, let's see, highlights the main threats of his abilities while on attack and on alliance war defense. They keep mentioning that defense. Uh, Nova's medium attacks become much more threatening from full screen with this ability. Being able to trigger parry from Nova's auto block means players need to pay attention to his Nova charges while fighting against uh, to avoid being stunned. Yeah. Uh, once awakened, Nova is better placed on Alliance War defense. Y'all get the idea, right? Uh, on nodes with buffs such as buff toggle, unblockable, unstoppable, and Aegis intercept. So you can see where their heads are at. And then here we have the uh, synergies. Uh, and we've already uh, talked a little bit about them. All right. So there you go. And at the end, finally, you've got the uh, recommended masteries. Parry, obviously. Limber, stupefy, uh, stand your ground. I'm not a big fan of stand your ground. But if you want to optimize for him on defense, then yeah, that's a good one. Uh, block proficiency and perfect block. Those are pretty decent. So I'm, I'm a fan of all these masteries. Wasn't really a big fan of stand your ground. All right. So now let's have a little gameplay. All right. We're going to head into realm of legends. You can see that I am bringing in only Nova, no synergies active. Uh, now, I am running Suicide, so bear that in mind when you see the damage that he is able to do here. Now, Winter Soldier can be very annoying. Let me tell you, he can play very passively, and that can mess me up sometimes, okay? But just take a look here at Nova's animations. We're going to see his special one. We're going to see his special two and his special three. We're also gonna see his dash, and a little bit later on, I'm going to force Winter Soldier to attack me while I'm dashing so that you guys can see the auto block uh, in action. All right, so keep in mind that this is not the best way to fight with Nova, all right? Just showcasing him a little bit. This is the first time I'm playing around with him, so, I don't know the best rotation. We did go over uh, what the devs said about that, but I wasn't trying to do any of that in this fight. So here, what I want you guys to see is just how fast those Nova charges are stacking up. So at this point, if I don't want to push myself to 100, I would have had to fire off my special one earlier than I did, all right? Uh, he does not seem like he is very suicide friendly. He's not uh, poison immune or bleed immune. And his damage really comes from his special attacks. All right. So you see me here. I'm trying to bait out Winter Soldier's attacks. And here's the reason. So I mentioned earlier that... Winter Soldier can be very passive. This is why if you're playing Ghost, you don't want to practice against Winter Soldier. You need to fight an AI that's a little more aggressive than he plays. And since, I don't know if it was since the update or before that, but the AI has changed. All right, so it will intercept you very often. Very annoying. And now... Think about this. You're fighting with Nova, and if you're like me, your normal mode of attack is parry and then counter, right? But with Nova, what you're trying to do is you're trying to dash to gain those charges, all right? And you see here, I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive 
while he didn't have a special. Because if I did that, and this has happened, uh, I would dash and he would just intercept me with the special. Very annoying. And so I would recommend that you dash only when he doesn't have a special, uh, no bar of power, or you've just stunned him, okay? Or he's just fired off his special attack. And I mentioned earlier how it is easier to do that backdraft intercept. Now, if you're doing that backdraft intercept, you didn't want to do that when he had a special anyway. So it seems like he is made for safer, not completely safe, but safer backdraft intercepts. And again, that is when you attack, you know, uh, preferably when he's in the corner, but you hit him like one, two, three, and then you dash back and then dash right back. And hopefully he will follow you and you'll intercept him. All right. So all you see me do here and see right there, I messed up. He backed up and then attacked me. He basically backdraft intercepted me and that can still happen. All right, and you see right there, I messed up, but you saw that auto block. So I was trying to make the most of the unblockable and I got caught, but then the auto block actually saved me. Okay, so you got a chance to see that in action. And I believe I, I do try to do that one more time in this fight. All right, so at this point, I'm trying to play a little bit more conservatively See there? That was another auto block right there. All right. So I'm trying to play a little more conservatively because I'm running suicides. So I'm taking a lot of recoil damage. And I'm like, well, he's almost, you know, just a little less than half his health. And I was trying to get a full kill. So I have to play a little bit less free with my specials. That is what happens if you're fighting with someone who is not suicide friendly. So if you're someone like me that likes to run suicides all the time, he's not going to be all that attractive to you. And his damage, his damage seems okay. It's nothing crazy. Uh, there are plenty of other damage dealers that I would take over him by far, you know, without any immunities or anything like that and just okay damage. Uh, I wouldn't choose him over many other champions. And as you saw in the uh, dev notes, it seems like they have in mind Nova as a defender. They even went so far as to specify the type of nodes that he would be uh, well placed on. All right, so here we are. We've got him down a little bit more. You can see that uh, Fury uh, up there, permanent. And Winter Soldier, of course, has no ability to nullify it or anything like that. So we're good there. All right. And here we go. We dashed. And now you see that I have two Furies up. So at this point right here, that's where you want to stay. Now, what just happened there is I allowed it to go over to 100 charges which made it unblockable, but it also wiped everything out. Okay, so that's what the dev note was talking about. You know, once you get past 75, you want to hover right there. All right, so like right here, I should just intercept with a special or something so that I don't go to 100, but I did anyway because I was just having fun with the dash. But if you want to maximize his damage, that's what you want to do. And that's why I don't consider him suicide friendly because you really want to fire off his specials to manage those Nova charges. And that's where you get the big boy damage. And you see how much damage I was doing there. That's because I had the two Furies and I was over 75 Nova charges. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, if you're planning to go for Nova, uh, or you were thinking about it, hopefully this will help you make your decision. So take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. 
And you all have a blessed day.